how are you? You're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're good. Quite a quiet night. Went to watch the footy and went to bed. <laughs> yeah, big gig last night. We've got to tell everyone about. Yeah, Preston. How was it? My penultimate preview. Pretty, pretty big. People are like tweeting, going, "Dan tells the story." It must have been magical. <laughs> it was. Got my favourite garlic oh, we bread got from Chinese, across the road. Oh yeah, we went for the Chinese with Dave Chappelle and Jeff. Uh, I have oh. not finished my Preston preview <laughs> story, guys. Sorry. You were at a gig. I was at a gig. You know, I'm from Preston. Pretty important. <laughs> Is Dave Chappelle? Chappelle. Yeah. Chappelle. Chappelle over your words. Hey. Is he from Liverpool? No. Am I from Preston? Yeah. So last night there was a, um, a bit of WhatsApp magic going around, wasn't there? While you were at the game. Did you find out at the game? Yeah. So... Tell us what happened because, so, I mean, it's pretty uh, magical. Even Laura's like, what the fuck? She saw it on Dave Insta. Chappelle and Chris Rock are doing a show tonight on the, the 1st of September, as we are recording on the 1st of September, uh, at the arena in Liverpool. So he was in Liverpool last night and he asked Hot Water, could he go down and jump on at the very end of the show? And they're like, ah, oh, Phil Chapman is booked in though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll ask him to do 10 minutes less. Well, jump. he had to fill for like half an hour. Yeah. Phil. Phil out of Phil. He done well. Yeah. Even Dave went wherever the host is. Fucking fair play for Phil and for half an hour. Oh, so Phil Chapman was comparing. Yeah. Oh. And he had to Where make- was Smith? He's on tour. He just wasn't there. Ah! How weird's that? Oh. It was still uh, full though. Like it's not oh, normally full, but yeah. they were only doing one show. But- oh, I'm sort of gutted for Smith. Yeah. yeah. Now, fuck Not him. That he, his life's good. Yeah, his life is pretty good. He's probably sat in his Lamborghini. He's fine. Probably sat, sat, probably sat in his Lamborghini eating shoe mice. Is that what? <laughs> is he that, knew as is well that what he does? Yeah. Is that what he does? Now he's, now he's made it. <laughs> just driving around in his shoe mice. These shoe mice displease me. Shoe mice. <laughs> Another shoe mice! <laughs> he has an actual shoe mice maker that just follows him around. Um, Are you quite loud? So Dave Spell went on. Uh, you say jumped on. That is a very liberal... He didn't jump on, did he? He did two hours. Well, he went on and did like 20 minutes on his own and then went, oh, um, I've got the Roastmaster General with me. Jeff Ross is here. Let's get Jeff Ross on. And then they were on stage together for another hour and a half. Right. Um, Just a combination of every now and then dropping an unbelievable punchline or like two minute bit and then absolutely eating a bag of shit for five minutes at a time. So I, I looked at the shots uh, look to the picture that you put online and it, it just occurred to me that there might be some people in that crowd who are just like, yeah, we're going down comedy f- on a Thursday and have no real idea <laughs> what they've just seen. <laughs> some American lad and his mates came on. Because the because the crowd was empty and out because people had to get buses and trains. At some point, yeah, Chappelle's like assistant, I assume she must have been, was like, yeah. uh, Dave, apparently the bus system is shit. Um, like, you're going to have to get off stage. And he was like, no, I don't. If people want to go and get the bus, they can go, and I'll still be going when there's only four people left. Yeah. But because of that... <laughs> Dave Chappelle walked hot water. <laughs> it's like we just sat there oh, with them just talking. Preston was good, though, yeah. Oh, oh, God, that was the bit where I got FOMO. I will never cancel a one-man show. I've, I've waited too long to do them, and last night was the best preview, which is nice because I start the tour on Saturday, uh, and I always get a little bit of fear about hometown gigging because it's not like Liverpool which is your hometown which is a city which is where you've made your career yeah. I left Preston and I go back there occasionally and there's been some pretty bad gigs and when they're bellends I said this last night I feel very responsible for the bellends I'm like yeah. oh god you're my bellends I went to school with you you're probably my fucking cousin when they're like no, 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 I'm from Bamba Bridge it's fucking painful and last night they were the opposite. They were absolutely perfect. I ran the show out and I nailed it. Like I got it. It's a funny one because if you're a punter, you might not. You will get it. There's days at work where you're just on your fucking metal. Yeah. There's days when we're in here where we stop recording and go, well, that was just middle of the bat every time. And that that was how last night was. And I saw you all going to, you were like, I'm leaving the match early. I knew. Like, I've never done that in my life, like, by the way. Dean was like, fucking And hell. we scored a 97th Sh- minute winner. I know, but still. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. had to. I, I had to. I, I had to. I, I didn't get FOMO at all. It was fun. That though. that bit. Now I've got FOMO. Do you know? Uh, I, had, oh, I had a God. wonderful little personal moment. By the way, I know this is so stupid, but I I was at the back like stifling and laughing myself at how ridiculous it was because he was on stage. He was maybe an hour and twenty minutes in at this point, 
So I, I started, you know, by the sound booth, the hot water, that's where I was sat. And then I went into the bar, got a Diet Coke, and I went and stood at the other back bit. You know, like the recess. I where was the stood, old green room is. Where the old green room is. Oh, yeah. So I might have forgotten about that green room. Like, right, right, sort of, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, in yeah. the middle of the stage. Yeah. By that, like, sort of by the door. And I forgot there's, like, a safety light. So obviously I was lit up. And there was a, the people to, like, stage left. There was, like, eight of them. And I seen, I seen a light go to his bed. Fuck off. Adam Rose, <laughs> Dave Chappelle, oh, Jeff Ross, and it just it sent me head west. That like, is, a... <laughs> 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 that's like literally seeing Messi and Raquel May, and then go fucking hell, Lee Trundle. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was funny being in the group. Me and Steve got there in four minutes after that WhatsApp, and the green you got room a new car tomorrow. Oh. The green room was busy as it. Busier than usual, and everyone was like smirking each other, and people had turned up just coming like, "Why are you able to have no reason?" <laughs> <laughs> I always pop down to see my pals on a Thursday. Yes. But what had happened on a Wednesday? What had happened was so they, they go on, they do an hour and forty-five, and they were literally a mixture, and they were talking about this on stage. They were like, "It." Chappelle went, "I'm going to tell every comic in America they've got to come and bomb a hot water. This is the right. Of, we're going to make this the club in the UK." He's like, "Because this is what we're supposed to do." He goes, "We go on." We fuck around like that, and we just like bomb that. and figured it out. He's like, so he went, if you want to leave, you leave, but we're just going to keep going. I'm having fun. And he'd, he'd get another beer, he'd order a shot of tequila, and he was just doing what it, what he wanted to do. Well, he said that's how he relax. He went, thanks for letting us do this. This is us chilling out. You yeah. are just here to watch. Yeah. It's very, very, very <sighs> self-indulgent, but you can self-indulge Mate, when it's... After the show, and you're giving the audience the option to leave with no. If anyone stood up right in the middle of the front row and left, he didn't even mention them. He didn't even go, where the fuck? He just went and just ca- and started talking that way. He even said, I'm walking the room, but fuck it. I missed the magic. Yeah, it was special. Life. So there's so many things here. There's so many things. That's so, un- that's so un-British. It's yeah. so un-British. Yeah. And who are the only people in Britain who are going to do shows like this? <laughs> it's us, isn't it? It's yeah. us. Because our podcast style is American. No one has done an American style podcast until we started this. He was very interested and look in this at as a what podcast we've done. as well. Yeah, Jeff oh, was as well. He's next time round, isn't he? Next, next UK visit. I, I, don't, I don't think Chappelle will ever do it. He's not a big podcaster, is well, he? No, he turned Rogan down for years. Um, Jeff Ross was a bit more open to it because Carl was really pushed. I, I was gonna... shooting my shot. I, I kept yeah. going, Dave, you go, what I go? Are you busy tomorrow? And he go, I ain't doing it, man. I was like, Jeff. He busy tomorrow when he go, uh, and he, he slowly get, he went, I'll give you my email. Which he did. Which he did. But Jeff, look, Jeff Ross would be a fucking brilliant guest. Here's what happened, right? So we come off, he comes off stage and we go into the backstage area and Chappelle's assistant is like, there can't be this many people back here. Like either I get Dave out the building now and we go or you get some of these people out. Like we can't have, she, she was like, I know a lot of them are local comics and stuff, but there's too many people Dave's very worried about security. If you want to all stay, that's fine, but then we're going to leave. So a few people left, and I was with my mate, Josh. So what had happened was, me and Josh had gone to the match together. We both parked our cars in Tubrook, and when we left, he went, oh, I'll just come in your car. Just give me a lift back to my car mm. in a bit. So I went, let's just go, lad. I'll, I'll take you to your car. And I thought that was the end of the night. <laughs> so I take Josh to Tubrook, and as I get there, I check my phone, and he's texting me and said, where have you gone? We're literally sat around drinking and talking with Dave and... Uh, Candyman was there taking pictures. Jeff Ross was there. Dave was like, "I was like, I'm on my way back." Who's who's there that we know now? Who is it? Is it gone down to his? Oh, Rob no, Thomas, Rob, Rob Thomas, Thomas Simon Wozniak, Liam Bolton. Liam Bolton asked one of the funniest. <laughs> you, know, you know Liam Bolton's style. So we'll get to that in a sec, right? But uh, Vidal was there. One of our Vidal, listeners yeah. who like uh, done some architecture for cars, working with hot water and stuff, and it. it, it Dave Chappelle's just talking and asking questions and stuff. And I just sort of walk into this conversation, but they're talking about have a word as I walk in the room. So oh, Carl I, got, I made sure have a word was... So constant. Carl's like, yeah, it's, it's called have a word. And Chappelle goes, so it's, it's, it's pretty big, huh? And Carl goes, it's the biggest comedy podcast in the UK. And he goes, and what's the format? And Carl went, well, the host's just walked in. He stood right there and he goes... Oh, hey, man, you host the biggest comedy podcast in the whole of the UK. Oh, my God, I'm going to take my pants off. I'm going to take my pants off. Oh, oh I'm going to start wanking on the pod. Keep going. Keep going. I'm not quite there yet. And then he goes, he goes, 
He goes, to me, I don't want to pry, but are you making good money? <gasps> and I was like, well, yeah. And he goes, so you can make money from comedy in the UK? And I, as a joke, went, well, you can if you've got a podcast as well. And he goes, look, you don't have to, but I want to... And then Rob Thomas with his fucking... He was like, yeah, I don't know. Come over here, you look like 60, 40, 60 grand. That's what, like, co comedians make over here. Like, if they're doing the clubs and that. And she goes, and you can live on that. And I went, I'm like, I'll just not... I'll not put another chip in it. I'll just let the conversation happen. But then he was asking about it. He then goes, so do any of you guys work in America? And Rob had to go, oh, just, just him, actually. And he goes, oh, so where, where have you worked? And I went, oh, I've done The Cellar, Gotham... A New York Comedy Club. And he's like, and then Jeff Ross comes back in and he goes, the conversation's moved on, but he goes to Jeff, hey, Jeff, you know, this guy, he works in America, he's worked all over New York. And then Jeff recognised, he, he goes, and I went, yeah, we met before at Top Secret Comedy Club. And he goes, oh, yeah, I love that room. But we just sat around talking about comedy and the difference between you know the UK safe? and the US. When, so Jeff went to me, so who have you had on? I went, oh, we've had, because he's worked with Jimmy Carr. I was like, oh, we've had Jimmy. I was like, oh, great. And then the names I was saying, I went, Shane Gillis, and he tapped. Dave went, you've had Shane Gillis on. He's like, oh, and Dave was like, that's sick. And then we've got some big Americans coming up that we can't say. And they were impressed by them as well. And they were like, it, it was, they were slowly going, okay, these are. So what Chappelle said about hot water will have a knock-on effect for hot water when Americans visit, because they've been patronised by the, the, goat. the goat. Yeah. Right. The same happened with us with Jimmy Carr. Jimmy Carr was big for us because it was Jimmy Carr, but it also made... Other big comedians go, well, fuck, if Jimmy Carr has done Have a Word, yeah. it's like it's like comics at that level want to see that someone else has... Jimmy yeah. Carr didn't give a fuck. He was the one that was like, yeah, yeah, you're doing good work. Shane Gillis is going to have that effect for us, isn't it? Because Gillis is one of the biggest new names in stand-up, like Rogan's all over him, like because he realises who he is. He's the next big thing. Yeah, yeah. And Shane's going to have that effect. I love the fact that that... The fact that we've had Gillis on, who's obviously... Because uh, that special, I've probably watched it six, seven times now. Every time I've gone back to watch it, I'm like, oh, there's another 700,000 people have watched that YouTube you, special. You it's wait getting until bigger his, and bigger his next and bigger. one drops because his new hour is a lot better than the special. Oh, my God. Um, but it, it's... It, it, so Chappelle being at Hot Water has an amazing effect for Hot Water. Like he said, he wants to make that the, the, the yeah. UK club that people do. Chris Stefano's coming to Liverpool... Like he put a poll up, yeah. And I love Glasgow, but Glasgow lost the vote. And I, and I, I think I, he'll I, do both anyway. I would want him to do both, but I love that that Liverpool, like, and I'm, I imagine it was some of our lids getting on it as well. That helps Liverpool gigging. We're going to be in Liverpool. The podcast, it's all, it's so beautiful. Well, to I watch. said that to both of them. I said because Chappelle was like, oh, Rob Thomas asked them. Well, how come you're just doing London and Liverpool? Like most people normally do Manchester. And Chappelle went, well, the guy at Live Nation told me that Liverpool was more my vibe. And I went, you are literally in the best city for UK comedy at the minute, and you're in the to best be honest sport. with you. Um, but everyone's asked, this is really funny. Everyone's asking them questions. People are asking like Jeff Ross roast questions, Chappelle comedy questions. And it went silent for a second. And Liam Bolton went, hey, who's the fattest person you've ever roasted? <laughs> <laughs> And he went, this one's for you, Liam. <laughs> and he went, Roseanne. Like, immediately. <laughs> Do you know what was weird, though? I don't know whether you felt this. And this might sound fucking insane. It was weird how normal it felt. I said that to him. It didn't feel like it wasn't, like it was, oh, this is a surreal night. This is mad. It just felt like, oh, yeah, Chappelle's in town. And of course, we got to have a beer with him. Because he's a comic. Yeah. And he's also, a proper comic. And also, I think it's this. I think now, because like the amount of people who've messaged me since last night going, oh, he's obviously doing the pod. He isn't. He doesn't really do them. But because that that mentality is in our listeners and us, it's like, oh, a big comic is in town. They're obviously going to be, why would they not want to? Uh, we, 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 we have only barely scratched the surface on then that. Then he goes, he goes uh, I want to eat. Can we go and get no, some well, food? You, you missed the bit before you came back. What happened? So we were sit it was like, a, do you know, have you seen the scene in The Simpsons when everyone's sitting around Abe listening to him? Yeah. It's like that. It was like an old fucking... Not granddad, because he's not that old, but like someone who's like wise. Everyone was just sitting listening to him like that. And he was talking about like how important having one guy in the community or one thing in the community to help it grow. And I was sitting there like, yeah, that's that's us, that Dave. It was, it was so sick. He was like, you just need, he's like, it's, I want to I wanna find the new hot shit. I don't want to get people who've already made it on. I want to find the new thing. And he said, you know, the community's got one thing that helps everyone else grow. And I was like, oh, that's our thing now. It's our fucking boss. Yeah, it's mad. 
Um, he wanted to eat. So we were like, right, well, the Mayflower is normally where we would go for Chinese, but it was shut. But there was one place left open called Chili Chili. No, we went to Jumbo, Jumbo's, Jumbo, Jumbo City, yeah. In Chinatown. So I, I told his driver where we were going, and his driver was like, okay. So they, they drove down into Chinatown, we went. And How big is his entourage? Just three, three vans yeah. of yeah. big men. I text, I text Paul Blair at one point, because Paul Blair turned up, but at one point he was still at the match. And he was like, uh, <laughs> Blair texted me and said, how deep is he rolling? And I said, deep, there's more black people in this room than, than have ever been before. There's four. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know the wings? Chef, get through the wings to hot water we and access the stage. He had, he, had, he had two bodyguards there at all times. He's very, you know, because he got tackled on stage. In yeah, LA. yeah, I do. He's I... very, very, very nervous about that. Yeah. Like yeah. we, we well, at he's one point, also his best mate who's doing a tour with got fucking slapped by Will Smith. There's we, been a, a we, bad little run recently of. We yeah. were gonna walk to Chinatown, and he went, "I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to get the car down because I don't want to get tackled again." And I was like, "You're not gonna get tackled on fucking Harmon Street in Liverpool, Dave." And he was like, "I can't risk it." <laughs> but we're Jeff Ross paid for the entire meal for everyone, yeah. and Rob Thomas was there, <laughs> <laughs> and Freddie Quinn. <laughs> oh my god. It was fucking magical. At one point, Jeff goes, oh, dinner's on me. And Rob went, you haven't seen how much I eat, lad? And I went, I think he gets the gist, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's got a rough idea. I was saying to Adam, because when we got there, the Chinese was dead. It was Wednesday night. It was <laughs> 2 a.m. or something. Yeah. And the fella who And they him, saw Rob Thomas walk in and think, oh, this is going to be good. No, oh, no, he was pissed off. The owner was pissed off. Oh, classic. And I said, what's happened is, he's <laughs> rang his wife and gone, I'll be home in half an hour. And she's gone, right. And then he's rang back and gone, I can't come home, Dave Chappelle's come in. <laughs> and she's gone, you're chatting shit. <laughs> <laughs> cheating on me out. He's like, no, Dave Chappelle's here. But we couldn't get pictures. Like, you ain't allowed to get your phone out around him. Like, I was texting like this. And one of his, uh, one of his boys came over. It was fucking lovely, to be fair. He went, uh, you're going to have to text you're texting, down. can you lower your phone, please? He said, because, like, don't even attempt to get a picture of him. Yeah. But, uh, the, the Jeff Ross and Candyman off. took a few pictures in the Chinese, though. Yeah. That they said they're going to send to us. They're like, a Just big group pictures. Yeah, okay. Um, Wait, no, you're no, talking like, about a guy who exists in a stratosphere we don't fully understand. Do you know what, though? I've got to be 100% honest with you. Yeah. Like, I, I want this to become the biggest thing in the world, and I want to be able to sell a lot of tickets as a comic. His entourage and his whole life because of it is so intense. It put me off it a bit. The, it, him and Jeff Ross were so unbelievably sound and a lot of his team were really, really sound as well. But there's an intensity to it and a nervousness about everyone. That I was like... It's suspicion. That, that's got to be Someone a difficult be trying life, to that. fuck them over. Yeah. Yeah. He's, not, he's, put, he's put his trust in these people who will like, literally put their life on the line for him. Well, but I mean, not to sound too... Like wanky wanky, but what's he done with you? Like, what's what what have you done with Steve? I'd never met Steve, and you got Steve. Finn, we employed because no, no, no. But like, like but if I mean, someone no, comes but, up to me and Carl asking for a photo at Leeds Festival, Steve isn't going. No, 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 no. no, no. no but I mean, you, I'm, I know you're not there. He did a couple. I mean, he I know you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I reckon Steve can throw fucking. I, but I, I mean, on the very smallest level, you've you're. Your status has grown. What you're doing has grown. Like, it's a bit different with you and me because we started the pod together, but you got your boy in. He got his boy in. Like, you do that. And th I, I imagine that if that had to grow, it's not like you're going, right, we're going to security R us. You're going to go to people you trust. Like We get all of our big black mates to come and do it. Like Dave Chappelle has. <laughs> yeah. All of them. Yeah. All none of them. <laughs> yeah. Or just get Rob Thomas. <laughs> he can't be so turn in circles very... Very large. Um, but I've done the same with the tour. I've got Antonio and Rummy, and that's who I'm doing the Triple C with. And they're not like my best mates, but they are trustworthy. You know, oh the kind God. of people you trust and you know are going to. I want to bring my mates with me on everything. Like, like but it was in what do you mean? Intent was it? These were his mates. They're, these were his boys, as in like yeah, they're not. They're, they don't seem me. like friends. These are staff. Oh, okay. These yeah. are like th these security guards didn't go to school with Chappelle. He has hired them from security at us. They were young oh. lads who looked like they could kill all of us with like one arm, and they were really, right. really, really, really sound. sound though. But yeah, okay, all right, okay. So I thought the entourage was his. I, when no, you said no, his no, boys. No. I was like, it's his boys. Oh, so no. they're, they're sitting there like this. 
at all times, heads on the swivel. Like they're constantly. eating without looking at what they're picking up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I say I was like this because I got a sneaky picture. To be fair, it's funny. It's Adam sitting next to Chappelle in Chantown. But as that was before the, you knew not to. Yeah, but in the picture, you can see the lad in the background, like, and he comes over and goes, text with your phone down. Yeah. And I accidentally opened it, like, on WhatsApp, because he, he he sent it to our group on WhatsApp, but before we were told and off. You had to go. But no, Jeff Ross seen it and went, don't do it. Oh, did he see him, yeah? Did he see he, it? He yeah? seen it, he went, don't do it. And I was like, no, I'm not. I went, he didn't know. And he went, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit intense, isn't it? Yeah. But I get it, because he doesn't want to go. I, listen, this... This is doing bits, but that is... That's, that's what I mean. It was a, a total scary. other level, and I was like, I don't know whether I could handle that. Like, he's no. the greatest comedian, arguably, of all time. He's, he's certainly one of the most famous, if not the most famous comedian on the planet right now. And it just looks like a lot of work. Do you know yeah. what I do love about what he does? Uh, the, the Especially in this country, the, the format is very similar, isn't it? Like... You are on the circuit for a bit and either through being brilliant and people buying tickets and doing well at Edinburgh or, or some agent signs you up and then you do a tour and then you're doing more TV and then you do a bigger tour and then basically you're either arena big or massive theatre big and do we see you ever again? Some comics come down and put, but it's basically tour, tour shows with supports that usually they don't know and they just go around and, and tour like that. What I love about Chappelle just as a comedy fan who listens to American podcasts and watches a lot of that stuff, they really fucks around with the form of what him live is. Like, he does the shows with his mates. Like, Chris Rock, like they could, Chappelle could do the arena on his own. Oh, him yeah. and Chris Rock doing it together is weird. The fact that he's got Jeff Ross, who should really be on his own fucking tour. Yeah. Like, and then you hear stories of like him going to Rogan, like come to Red Rock this weekend, I'm doing this. And he flies his mates to do shows where the mates should be literally touring themselves and then, and then just disappearing and turning up to comedy clubs unannounced for like a whole two months. Well, that's what I want to like, do I love, him. I love the fact that they are messing around with what it is to yeah, be but that I, that's, famous. That's what comedy, I think, should, there should be surprises to it. Like, having you and Paul Smith both on a, a Philharmonic with me... No, is it's beautiful. Is, 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 ...is not the done thing. Like, co comics don't do that, but I've seen it happen in America, and it, it's a cool way to do it. Me and Paul ended up on stage comparing a late show together a couple of months ago. That doesn't happen over here. It's just fun and it should be different and I guarantee you the people who were there that night when me and Paul went on stage together and then did Danny McLaughlin's poem at the end they went away from that night going we seen something there that wasn't just another Saturday night gig yeah, where yeah, yeah. the comics are going through the motions yeah. me and Paul are twatted and th th that might never happen again yeah and only 200 people got to see it in the room okay there's clips and whatever but if you just weren't there you, pr around, you, you yeah. probably never get that again I've just remembered one of our plans for the year, the year after <laughs> next, yep. and it's yeah. fucking you know, around, fucking around with the form of what it is to see live comedy. You know, it was great. Someone asked him about the shows he put on in his house during COVID. Yeah, um, and he was like, "How much did it cost?" And he went, "Oh, it cost me seven million for them all." And he went, "But it's the funniest thing I've ever done." He said, "I lost money, but I was doing it so fun." No, like, he lost seven million. That's what I mean, yeah. But I was like, I looked, at, I looked at you. We didn't look back. I was like, "That's what we're doing. We're losing money." Yeah, we're losing, stuff. losing seven million. No, but I mean, we're putting Every money week. back into it just so we can help. Because you're like, I just have fucking fun with it. Oh yeah. my god! Well, Preston was good though. There was a guy called Mango on the front row. <laughs> <laughs> that was mental. That was mental. Yeah, his surname sounded a bit like Mango. <laughs> it's mad. Mango, shout out Mango. <laughs> that was Preston. Nearly as good. <laughs>